Welcome back. There is less than 24 hours on the Super Bowl promo, which means that we will be getting fan favorites tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, which is the 16th of February. Today is the 15th of February. Super Bowl will end very soon. And yeah, I got to claim my last and final iconic player, guys. That actually has been a pretty good promo because I got the center Creed Humphrey. So that's one iconic. I got the Christian McCaffrey honors iconic which was my second iconic and that was good because the overall were a little bit higher than the regular super bowl because it was a additional drop inside a super bowl but i got enough epics to get another iconic and i will be getting a random which is not that bad i was hoping to get one more epic before the promo ended but i want to just do this now because i doubt i'll get another epic if i wind up pulling one then i i do later on but honestly it's fine because i was going to go for an honors random because it is something where you know i'd like to get like someone besides a duplicate or someone i really don't need which in the super bowl random iconic i don't want a quarterback because i already have a good quarterback and i'm waiting for another quarterback later on and I do not want to pull the Super Bowl Christian McCaffrey. That would be terrible because I already have the honors one. So those are the only things I don't want to pull. I don't want to pull Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes honors, Brock Purdy Super Bowl, or Christian McCaffrey Super Bowl. I, I don't want to pull any of those throughout here. Anyone else I will take for sure. Yeah, I, actually, the ones I'm really looking forward to pulling is probably Fred Warner and Kyle Hughes check. Chris Jones wouldn't be that bad. Is there an O-line? Man, O-tackle. I want an O-guard. There is no guard, right? No, okay, fine. Oh, Taco actually wouldn't be that bad as well. Okay, here we go. Random Super Bowl iconic, my last to final one. Three iconics throughout the promo, which is really good, honestly. I'm actually just getting iconics throughout promos now. Mythics really are not the greatest because it's just one player when you can get multiple iconics up to your team. I mean, a lot of people do like it in the Mythics. I guess that's fine if you do like a specific player and you really want that whole entire version of him. I understand that and that is acceptable. But I really could care less who I got that a Super Bowl promo. So now I'm going for multiple. And let's not get a uh, duplicate. I want to see. Oh, I don't want to see new. Because I don't want the quarterbacks. I never pulled the quarterbacks. I never pulled the Christian McCaffrey one. So I, I don't know. Do I not want to see new? Do I want to pull like the center again and foil him? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Fred Warner. Be buying this pack, honestly. I need a new middle linebacker. Here we go. New. Oh, no. Ooh, Debo Samuel, I will take that. I will take that for sure. It is not a duplicate center. It's not a quarterback. It's not the Christian McCaffrey. So, actually, that's fine. I did need an updated wide receiver. Not the ideal one I wanted, really, because there is the Julio Jones 10th anniversary iconic as well. But this couldn't be an update for now. Larry Fitz was actually really good. I mean, he is a really good wide receiver at 6'3", 218 pounds. He had really good run blocking. Let me compare run blocking right now. Let's see. Ooh, okay. See, I don't like how Debo Samuel's impact block is a little bit lower, but he has better run blocking, run block footwork, and run block strength. 157, replacing a 143. That is actually pretty good. So let's go in and best line up for this in three, two, one. We are now a 4,558 overall with that 155 offense. No boost at all, guys, whatsoever across the board, which is fantastic. That means true overall which is nice now all we have to do you know i'll give i'll get three levels i'll get my coins back it's only 74,000 coins training points are gonna run low obviously but it's fine 162 wide receiver debo samuel he has 134 impact block now which is a little bit better than before so not that bad honestly not that bad because yeah they're pretty good i mean he's like a running back in the wide receiver position He's pretty fast. He's definitely fat. Yeah, he's way fat. Way faster than uh, Fitz. I mean, he is 5'11", 215. Fitz was 6'3", 218. Wow. Debo is pretty big for his height compared to Fitz. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I have some more videos updating my team. So, make sure you guys stay tuned because, as you saw, we have Fitz now, which is an iconic I took away. Which means we can get another iconic if we just take someone out and replace him. Yeah, I'll do it in another video. But it's going to be some good updates. Honestly, I think I'm going to go O-line. Or I might go... 
I don't know, halfback, fullback, because honestly, I think we need an update there. Oh, yeah, I have CJ Ham too, so we can actually get two updates on offense by swapping. So we're really going to just aim at O-line and the halfback, fullback position. Maybe, well, I don't know, tight end. I don't even know if I need a new tight end. Because if we got George Kittle there, and I don't think it's really a need in any sense. If we look over here, tight ends. Who's the tight end? Yeah, George Kittle is the tight end. So, yeah, I don't really need a tight end there. Yeah, because it's a 144. I have the 144. I just leveled them up a little bit. Okay, I think I knew I'm going to get in the next video. So, guys, stay tuned. We're going to have some offensive updates. So, yeah. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.